popcorn. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Okay, guys, so this is going to be your October mid-month read. So this will be from about October 15th to November 15th, all right? So uh, quickly before I do this reading, I just want to remind you guys that, again, I am going to be in New York the 26th and the 27th at the end of this month. So um, this is going to be Thursday and Friday, October 26th and 27th. Now, uh, it's going to be a meet and greet event. So when you purchase a ticket for the event, what it buys you is a one hour time slot with me. So in that time, I will be reading your cards and you could bring up to two friends if they want to just meet me or get their cards read. Okay, so that's totally fine. Um, yeah, but other than that, when you guys go to the link, it'll say 9 a.m. for both days. Um, that's just the first slot that's available, but I have my availability there in the description. So just click on the day that you want, and then after you purchase your ticket, just email me and uh, let me know what time you want and the day that you want it on, so I can take that time off the availability, all right? All right, guys, so let's see what's going on. What is happening for the sign of Capricorn? From October 15th to November 15th, what is happening for the sign of Capricorn? All right, guys, let's see what's going on here. Beautiful. All right, guys, so your energy, and I apologize for the glare in advance, so your energy for this reading is the Two of Cups, okay? So this is a very deep connection that you feel that you have to someone. Now, um, there could be a lot of illusions here, and there could be a part of you that it's like, you're connected to this person, but there's something that's holding you back from moving forward. But it's like intuitively, you know that this is something that could be good for you, but maybe you or the other person is talking to more than one person, all right? Let's see how this is going to play out. Now, the first card you have for your past is the Ten of Swords. So with the Ten of Swords, there's this feeling of betrayal here. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Right, we have the Nine of Swords. So with the Nine of Swords, you know, there's betrayal. There's you guys losing a lot of sleep at night. And with the Ace of Cups, there could have been some sort of fallout between you and somebody else. And whether it was you or maybe you were dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius... Uh, you know, somebody's acting out here. Somebody's taking a situation that's already bad and making it worse. But you're standing your ground here. You're standing your ground, but you're tired and you're trying to be resilient throughout the situation. All right, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Let me get one more card. And the Six of Swords. So for some of you that are in a relationship or that were in a relationship, this may have been a point where you decided... You know, you tried and tried to work on this, but part of you just wanted to move away and just be single and just, you know, not have to worry about whoever it was that you were seeing at the time. Now, the last card we have here is the judgment card in the reverse. So maybe you leaving was bad judgment, or maybe you just see the relationship as a whole as a bad judgment. This could also be with work, family, okay? But there's a new start that happens here. So you start something... Um, interesting there's something here that's starting and there's something here that you may be cutting off just a bit but whatever it is that's happening here the cards are saying that there could be bad judgment that's involved in this with the magician in the reverse you know there's somebody here who's being a tad bit manipulative okay let me get one more card here yeah ten of cups <laughs> It's funny because it was Ten of Cups in the reverse. I picked it up, it fell, and it landed this way. So I feel that there's a situation, maybe for some of you, there's two people in your life. Maybe one of them makes you truly happy and the other one doesn't make you as happy. But there's this sense of wanting to start something, wanting to stop something. But maybe there's just bad judgment all around this. You know, you just kind of being all over the place, not knowing what it is that you truly want out of this. Okay, now in the present moment, we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So if some of you are dealing with the fire energy, then that could be them, you know, being charming but talking to more than one person or just being a tad bit unreliable. Um, this could be your energy as well, okay? And with the strength card in the reverse, it's like you don't feel strong about how this uh, situation is unfolding in a sense. 
And with the Four of Cups, there could be an offer that's coming in for you guys that you're not accepting. All right? We have you guys um, in the reverse now with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is no movement forward. Okay? So I feel that something is being offered to you, but you might just be slow to take it or maybe not want to take it at all. Now, the next card you guys have is the Empress in the reverse. So with the Empress in the reverse, this could be holding off a new start that's being offered to you or kind of being in your head. You know, a lot of illusions, a lot of things to think about. There has to be some sort of balance that you guys find here. All right, Eight of Swords in the reverse. So Eight of Swords in the reverse, you're, there's a lot of illusions here. There could be a lot of options for you as well, but you start to get out of your head. There's someone here that you guys do feel strongly connected to, but for some reason you can't move forward with it. Now, the next card you have for your present moment is the Tower card. So there's going to be a situation that happens in your life. Whether you're going with this flow or you're not, it's going to happen regardless. This is a major arcana, you know, and when this card comes up, there's going to be change whether or not, you know, you're with the program. All right. But this could be a good change because with this Tower card, uh, it shows that you release a burden. Okay. With the Knight of Swords in the reverse, you could be dealing with someone who's very upset that you released a certain burden. But there's something that you're working on here that makes you happy. It might just be a tad bit unconventional, all right? Very interesting read, guys. Now, moving forward, the first card you have here is the Justice card. So things do balance out, all right? And with the Two of Wands, you take a path that you're really passionate about. There could be conflict around taking this path that you want, but there's just something, again, that I feel that you guys are uh, kind of resisting. But the path that you're going on, although there might be some conflict around it, I do feel it's going to be the best path for you because you're coming up as a king of pentacles. So that's, you know, that's you in your prime. That's you feeling good. I'll let these cards fall. Yeah, uh, you know, there's still that sense of conflict something that might be happening that's unconventional and maybe not balanced. Maybe you're putting more effort into a situation than somebody else's, or maybe you're not putting as much effort as they are, but you're happy and you're moving towards something quickly. Or this could be you uh, changing location, just traveling. Uh, you know, this has to do with transportation, vehicles. So this could be you moving towards somebody or just a, a change that's happening very quickly in your life. Or there could be someone else that's upset with you, but overall, you guys are happy and you guys are stable, but maybe your way of finding happiness towards the end of this is a tad bit unconventional, okay? And that's going to apply differently to everybody, but whatever you're doing, you're doing it to stabilize yourself, all right? So why is this four of wands here? Okay, two of cups. Guys, it ends well, all right? Whatever loss you're feeling, whatever you're holding back from, it goes away, it subsides. You guys have this very strong, beautiful connection. You get your ultimate wish fulfillment, and you start building a stability with that fulfillment. That's fucking awesome, okay? That's a very beautiful end. I'm very happy for how that uh, transpires for you guys. Now, let me pull you guys an Earth Magic Oracle card. Um, for those of you that are just tuning in for the first time, this is a deck by Stephen D. Farmer, okay? Okay. What guidance does the sign of Capricorn... Ooh. All right. All right. So uh, I believe Leo or Aries actually got this card as well. So the card that you guys have here is River. Now, what this card talks about is there's certain things that are going to happen in our lives where we might be tempted to control the situation, to control how it works out. What this card really needs for you guys to understand is that the only thing you can control is your own thing. There's certain things in our lives that we just can't force to happen, okay? Uh, with the river, it's just flowing, Okay, you can try your best to go against the current that is flowing in, but it's going to be exhausting, and eventually you're just going to either die of exhaustion or just collapse, okay? 
And eventually you're just going to have to float on your back and go the way that the river is going. So there's something here that's really being resisted, a movement that you guys may make or maybe that you don't make that's really, really being resisted. But it may be something that's inevitable. So right now, uh, you guys have to realize you have to move in a direction that you're not forcing anything. Anything that's too forced, it's not going to be good for you. Things that are truly meant for you in your life, you're not going to have to fight that damn hard for it, okay? I mean, depending on what it is, of course, there's things that we have to work on. If you're trying to get an Olympic you know, gold medal, of course, you're going to have to bust your ass. But let's see uh, what the advice says for this, okay? All right. All right. Fighting or blocking the flow of your life force can lead you to feeling spiritually void and disconnected from source. Just like the metaphor of the river, it does not work to force or fight this compelling movement. When you simply pay attention and observe the flow, it becomes easier to navigate your experiences and see what lies ahead, or at least get a sense of what is to come by the ever-changing geography that unfolds as you cruise along. Your resistance is hampering your ability to make a choice in this matter. Surrender to the movement of life, be grateful, and you will see the signs along the shore and in the river itself that offers you clues about what direction your egoless self is, is to be making. Go with the flow is more than a trite aphorism here. It is essential that you do so now. Breathe, relax, and you will know. If you guys are in a place right now that you're stuck between a situation, maybe between two people, maybe between two jobs, maybe uh, there's something that's happening in your family life that you're not sure how to go about it, sometimes the best way to figure out who's meant to be in our life and what's meant for us is for us to kind of be silent for a moment, okay? I was actually saying in the last, uh, I mentioned in the last two videos actually that I did for Capricorn that uh, <laughs> we were using the word finesse that you guys... Uh, learn to finesse things in a way where you're able to kind of have control over a situation and the outcome that you want. Now, there's going to be certain things in life that we can't always get. And with the Capricorn, there's a determination. It's like, no, when you guys want something, you want it. One of my you know, best friends is a Capricorn, so I see this happen all the time. And right now, you know, <laughs> you guys are in a place that you might just have to let things rock, all right? If you're between two people, if you're in between two, uh, just two things at all, or just a, a tough situation, as long as this is something with people that's social, try something, okay? Humor me for a moment and do this. For the next few days, don't reach out to these people. See how people feel without you being there with you know, with your absence, are they reaching out? Are they looking for you? Is this something that would even be there if you weren't putting the effort in? And then ask yourself, what am I fighting for? Okay, because things that are truly meant for you, something that the universe has for you, something that God has for you, whatever it is that you guys believe in, if it is meant for you, nobody in this world can take it. So if you feel like you're constantly crying, fighting, kicking, screaming, trying to get a certain outcome, you have to come to, you know, terms, you have to come to the realization that this might not be for you. And it's going to be so much more painful trying to fight for something that doesn't, you know, that doesn't belong with you, as opposed to just walking away and going towards something that just naturally agrees with you, okay? Especially if this is something with love. It's one thing to, you know, fight over certain things and get over certain roadblocks with a partner. But then there comes a time where it's like, okay, this is this is crazy. This is all me. You know, I'm the Elmer's school to this relationship. And if you're not putting in more work, then what am I doing? Okay, are you dating yourself or are you dating somebody else? So that's something that you guys have to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, it ends beautifully, guys. So you get your wish fulfillment, you get stability, you get a, a very good new... Well, it doesn't have to necessarily be new for some of you. But it's something that you've really been wanting. And that's how things end off. And I think that that's a beautiful thing. So I really do uh, hope that this resonates with you guys. Now, again, as a reminder, I will leave in the description uh, the link for the event in New York. Again, that's October 26th and 27th. It will be in White Plains, New York, which is in Westchester County. Um, if you guys are in New York City, it's just, you know, uh, the Metro North, okay, getting there. 
So, yeah, everything will be there. Shoot me an email if you purchase a ticket. Let me know the time that you need. Also, I am doing one-on-one -on -one tarot lessons through Skype. So if you guys, whether you're intermediate, beginner, advanced, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm more than willing to work with you. I'll leave everything in the description for all of that, and you guys can see what's going to be best for you. And lastly, guys, um, it's always my intention to have readings out anywhere between 5 to 10 days at most. Okay, so if you go ahead and get a reading and you send me an email letting me know what you need for the reading, I record all the readings and I send them to you when you're done. So once I have the information, I'll confirm. I try to confirm at least within two to three days. Right now, um, I've, I'm surprising myself and I've been confirming with everyone same day. So that's always a good thing. But uh, please just give me up to 10 days at most to get it to you. If anything happens, I'll always uh, contact you and let you know. But yeah, just let me work. And that's going to be the quickest way for you to get your reading back if you just let me work, okay? I love you guys so much, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will have your November readings posted a little earlier, because since I'm leaving to New York, I'm not going to want to work when I'm out there. You know, i got to see the homies. But I love you guys. Take care.